Hey guys, Tomboy601, and today we're going to go ahead and break down the two new Bureau Projects, talk about what commanders, what ships you need for each level, talk through a basic guide on the two new Bureau ships, that's the Conqueror and the Gearing, how long you should expect it to take to earn them, all sorts of stuff like that. Uh, additionally, we do have a free St. Patrick's Day patch code to give away uh, that Wargaming gave out, gave out, so... We'll go ahead and hide that somewhere in the middle of the video. But before we do that, let's go ahead and talk about our comment of the day. Comment of the day goes out to someone who leaves a comment on our most recent video. And today's comment of the day goes out to Zaparnath1968. He says, oh, the green camo. So basically each pot gives you 1250 gold and 21 paint. And yeah, I understand the base St. Paddy's Day camo not exactly the best, not exactly the the greatest looking. Personally, my plan is when I get a Vlad, stick it on there and nickname it the Ogre, because that's what it reminds me of. Uh, Fat Guy Gaming posted in the CC Discord uh, this this image by I guess one of his one of his people, uh, TJ Barrier, where it, it it's a Rick and Morty joke, and I appreciate this like. Yeah, it, it's not the best looking camo. You you may just want to go ahead and use it for paint. Anyway, let's get into the, the main bit of the video. Gameplay that you see is going to be my first games in both the Yamato and the Shimikaze. So we're, it might not be the best. They are just my first games in these two legendary ships. I figured that would be the best kind of background footage to talking about how to earn the next two legendary ships. So let's go ahead and talk about the Bureau projects themselves, and then we'll get into the details of who you need for each tier. So as you probably know, there are different slots that you can fill for each segment. There are two slots for fleet ships, two slots for patrons, and three slots for daily trials. You do have a constant research speed, so if you don't have any of the ships or the patrons, then you're gonna earn points at three points per second. Fleet bonuses, there's two kinds of fleet bonuses. One for any tech tree ship that is featured, you're gonna get plus three points per second. For any premium ship featured, you're gonna get four points per second. And finally, your patrons are gonna boost you by four points per, se per second. So that does mean the patrons are kind of the most valuable, followed by premium ships and then tech tree. And it's probably gonna be easiest to get the patrons and the tech tree ships. Now, patrons do have an interesting role because each time they're required, each segment, they're actually gonna increase that rank by one. So for segment one, it's going to require a rank four commander, but by segment 12, it will be all the way up to rank 15. The other way you can go ahead and boost the earnings, boost the number of points, is by doing daily trials. Daily trials will usually require you to win a standard or AI battle and get 100 base XP with the specified ship. For tech tree ships, there will be a hundred thousand and for special daily trials, usually specific premium ones, it will be 125,000 points that you will earn towards the Bureau project. Now there is a max of 300,000 points per day. So really the, if you're doing all of the Bureau trials for each tier, it's not going to help you if you have the premium, but the premium will help you if you're not able to do all of the Bureau trials for each uh, segment. The daily trials do reset every day at 7 a.m. UTC. So if we add all of that together, that means uh, if you're just using tech tree, you're gonna get 17 points per second, or if you're using the premium ships, you can get 18 points per second as your max earn rate. Now, there, each segment costs you about 8.5 million points per segment, and that those are broken up into stages, which cost 1.7 million points per stage. You can go ahead and use premium currency for what's called a breakthrough. However, breakthroughs are limited to 3.5 million points per segment. Uh, though they are not limited per stage, it is based on that full segment. The maximum boost per segment is uh, 3,500 doubloons and one doubloon is equal to 1,000 points. So with all of that said, the thing that you should probably keep in mind is the estimated time for the completion. So if you didn't have any of the ships, any of the commanders, if you just activated the Bureau Project and let it set the total time for 
to complete one of the bureau projects is going to be 393 days and 12 hours. That's going to be 32 days and 19 hours per segment or about six days, 13 hours per stage. If you have all of the patrons, the tech tree ships and standard trials, which would give you the, that maximum tick rate, that's going to be a total project time of 57 days, 16 hours. So significantly reducing it down to a time of only two months. Uh, and then per segment, that's about four days, 19 hours. And per stage, that's 23 hours. Now with all patrons, premium fee and special trials, the and the maximum tick rate. So if you are just, you have every premium and you know how to use it and all that jazz, you're looking at a little bit shorter of a time at 54 days, nine hours. And then per segment, that's about four days, 14 hours uh, per segment. And that's segment one to three. And then that will reduce to four days, 12 hours for segments three through 12. And then for per stage, you're looking at 22 hours from segment one to three and 21 hours from segment three to 12. So with all that said, you do also earn some rewards as you go through each of the bureaus for the Conqueror. Once you've done the full thing, you should expect 9,000 global XP, 90,000 commander XP, 900,000 credits, 24 union jack camouflages, 12 promotion orders, seven days of premium time, one universal commendation, one insignia, and finally, of course, the legendary battleship Conqueror. Conversely, for the gearing, you're looking at 10,000 global XP, 100,000 commander XP, 1 million credits, 24 red, white, and blue camouflages, 15 promotion orders, 7 days of premium time, 1 universal accommodation, and 1 insignia, and finally, of course, the legendary destroyer gearing. Okay, so with all of that said, with all that setup done, let's first start off with the Conqueror. So, for segment 1, what you are going to need... Your, your commanders, you're going to need Charles Madden, Bruce Frazier, or Nabotke Kondo. And then the fleet is going to be King George, Koenig, Emil Burton, or the Dunkirk, with the trials featuring Emil Burton, Koenig, and any Tier 5 ship. Segment 2, the commanders are going to be Andrew Cunningham, Bruce Frazier, and Carl von Mueller, with the fleet consisting of the Hawkins, the Fuhrer Taka, Brittany, and the premium ship is the Mutso. The trials can be done in the Hawkins or the Brittany and any tier five ship. Segment three, you'll need a rank six, Andrew Cunningham, Charles Madden, or Robert Jugard. The fleet will consist of the Vanguard, the Congo, the Konigsberg, or the PE Friedrich. The trials for segment three are gonna be Konigsberg, Congo, or any tier five ship once again. For segment four, you're gonna need a rank seven uh, commander of Charles Madden, Bruce Frazier, or Yamamoto. And then for the fleet, you're looking at Leander, Bayern, La Gossonniere, or the premium ship, Warspite. In the trials, you can use Leander, La Gossonniere, and any tier six ship. Additionally, this is where we start to see those special trials. You can use Warspite or added for these two and just recently added in the Bureau, you can also use the Black Edition, the one that was available for Black Friday of the Warspite. For segment five, you'll need a rank eight, Andrew Cunningham, Bruce Frazier, Franz von Hipper, and then the fleet ships are going to be the Queen Elizabeth, the Aoba, the Normandy, and the London. The trials will consist of Queen Elizabeth, Aoba, any tier six ship, or the London. T segment seven is going to be a rank nine, Andrew Cunningham, Charles Madden, or Andre Rue. And then the fleet is going to be a Devonshire, a Fuso, a Nuremberg, or a Cossack. The trials will consist for a Devonshire, Nuremberg, any tier six ship, and a Cossack. For, t for segment seven, you'll need a rank 10, Charles Madden, Bruce Fraser, or Carl von Mueller, with the fleet consisting of the Fiji, Miyoko, Gneisenau, or the Charlemagne. The trials, you can use the Fiji, Gneisenau, any tier seven ship, and Charlemagne. For segment eight, you'll need a rank 11, Andrew Cunningham, Bruce Fraser, and or Yamamoto. And then the fleet for rank for segment eight is going to be Surrey, York, Lyon, or the Duke of York. And the trials will consist of Surrey, Lyon, any tier seven ship, and the Duke of York. Segment nine, you're going to need a rank 12, Andrew Cunningham, Charles Madden, Franz von Hipper. And then the fleet is going to be King George V, Nagato, Algier, or the Z39, with the trials consisting of 
the King George and the Nagato any tier seven ship in Z39. Then segment 10, you're gonna need a rank 13, Charles Madden, Bruce Fraser, or Andre Rue with the fleet consisting of Edinburgh, Amagi, Bismarck, or Munchen. And then the trials are going to be Edinburgh, Amagi, Bismarck, or Munchen once again. Segment 11, you're gonna need a rank 14, Andrew Cunningham, Bruce Fraser, or Kondo. And then the fleet will consist of Vanguard, Hipper, Charles Montel, and Gascon. Trials, Vanguard, Hipper, Charles Montel, and Gascon. And then finally, the last segment for the Conqueror is going to be, a, you need a rank 15, Andrew Cunningham, Charles Madden, or Robert Jajard, with a fleet consisting of Albemarle, Mogami, Richelieu, or the Monarch. The Trials, you can use any of those ships, Albemarle, Mogami, Richelieu, and the Monarch. Okay, that's the first ship. I know that was a lot, but hopefully I've put time codes and you can go ahead and jump between whichever one you're going to need to refer to. That's one of the reasons I made this video, just so you can kind of quickly go back and reference it if you need to figure out who you want to promote in order to get ready for your next segment. Now on to the code. Now, this is a St. Patrick's Day uh, patch. At the time of recording, it's St. Patrick's Day, but I may have to move this video around because we're also supposed to get news on the April Fool's mode tomorrow morning and if i'm able to wake up early enough i may put out a video on that instead of releasing this video so if it's really late and passing passing patrick's day you'll know i ended up waking up early and making that video if not here's a little behind the scenes anyways to redeem a code if you haven't done that before you're gonna go to https wowslegends.com slash code redeemer and today's code is three s eight k d five l p u four once again, that's 3S8KD5LPU4, and that's gonna get you a pretty cool St. Patrick's Day patch. Now, let's move on to the gearing. In order to get the gearing for segment run, one, you're gonna need a rank four Arleigh Burke, Norman Scott, or Gunther Lutkins, with the fleet consisting of the Benson, the Pavotsky, the Fur Furutaka, or the Molotov, and the trials can be done in the pod, the Furutaka, or any tier five ship. For segment two, you'll need a rank five, Albert Gleaves, Norman Scott, or Vladimir Trubutsky, and you will need a fleet of Fletcher, Konigsberg, Minkaze, or the Monahan, with the trials being in the Konigsberg, Minkaze, or any tier five ship. Segment three, you'll need Albert Gleaves, Arlie Burke, Takeo Kurita, and the ships will be the Farragut, the T-44, the Kirov, or the Gallant, with the trials consisting of the T-22, the Kirov, or any tier five ship. For segment four, you'll need a rank seven Albert Gleaves, Norman Scott, and Eric Bay, with the fleet consisting of Pensacola, Genevi, Aoba, and T-61. The trials will be Pensacola, Aoba, any tier six ship, and T-61. For segment five, you will need a rank eight Albert Gleaves, Norman Scott, or Nikolai Kuznetsnov, with a fleet of the Mayhand, the Nuremberg, the Fubuki, or the Leningrad, and the trials will be in the Mayhand, the Nuremberg, any tier six ship, and the Leningrad. Onto segment six, you'll need a rank nine Albert Gleaves, Arleigh Burke, or Makawa, with a fleet of the Dallas Gaide Budione, or the Z-39, with the trials taking place in the Dallas Budione, tier, any tier six ship, and the Z-39. Segment seven, you'll need a rank 10 Arleigh Burke, Norman Scott, or Eric Bay, with a fleet consisting of the New Orleans, the Akatsuki, the Shores, or the Atlanta, with, with the trials taking place in the New Orleans, Akatsuki, any tier seven ship, and the Atlanta, or the Atlanta uh, Black Friday variant. Segment eight, you'll need a rank 11, Arleigh Burke, Norman Scott, or Karita, with uh, the fleet consisting of Helena, Moss, Minsk, or Ashataka, with the trials taking place in Helena, Minsk, Tier 7, or Ashitaka. For Segment 9, you'll need a rank 12 Albert Gleaves, Arlie Burke, or Nikolai Kuznetsnov, and the fleet will be a Benson, York, Miyoko, or Sims, with the trials being a Benson, York, any Tier 7 ship, and the Sims. Good luck with the Sims. Anyways, Segment 10, you'll need a rank 13 Arlie Burke, Norman Scott, Gunther Lutkins, with a fleet consisting of the Baltimore, Tashkent, Kagaro, or the Otago, and the trials taking place in a Baltimore, Tashkent, Kagaro, or the Otago. 
Then segment 11, you're going to need a rank 14 Albert Cleaves, Norman Scott, or Mikawa, with a fleet consisting of the Cleveland Z23 Chapayev or the Kid. With the Trials, you'll need a Cleveland Z23 Chapayev or Kid. Finally, rank 12, the last, you'll need a, or segment 12, you'll need a rank 15 Albert Gleaves, Arlie Burke, Vladimir uh, uh, Vlad, and then the fleet will be a Fletcher, Hipper, Akazuki, or Alabama, with the Trials being a Fletcher, Hipper, Akazuki, or Alabama, and there we go. That's all of them. That was a lot of words. I was not expecting this video to be this long, but here we are, guys. That's all you need to know about what to expect when doing the Bureau projects for the Cog Conqueror or the gearing. I hope this is a useful resource for you guys. Let me know if you like it. Let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video, go ahead, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and follow me on all the wonderful social medias. That's Instagram, that's Twitch, that's Twitter. Check out the merch stock shop. All of that is linked down in the description box below. You can check it out there. And with all of that said, guys, I hope you have a great rest of your day. See ya.